I just pulled up to this property that Mr. Mike Poor and I have co-listed. It's 170 acres in beautiful Saline County, Arkansas, where I was born and raised. What I want to show you guys today is the steps that we take to getting your listing on the website and the attention that we pay to every single detail to ensure that your property is getting the proper exposure. So I'm about to send the drone up and a couple key things that I want to mention here is the time of day. As you can see, the sun is setting. The pictures are usually best if done in the last hour of the day. And although that's not always convenient, uh, and sometimes we have to do what we can do, if we can, we try to make sure that we get the pictures w when they're gonna look the best, which is in the last hour or the golden hour of the day. So that's one of the things that we do and we make sacrifices. Uh, a lot of times it's supper time, you know, when we're out here taking these pictures. All right, the drone has done its job. So now it is time for us to get boots on the ground, check out this property. And we don't really know what we're looking for, just anything cool to take a picture of. Um, we're not just out here just snapping photos for the heck of it. We want to show what makes this property um, something that somebody wants to buy, right? So we're, we're thinking about our potential buyer when we're taking these pictures. In this particular instance, uh, I know the the type of buyer that's going to buy this is more than more than likely not recreational it's going to be some sort of investor for subdivide or something like that so i want to show the property's value which is has a lot to do with the road frontage right the more road frontage you have uh, the more you can subdivide a property um, and this this property has about three quarters of a mile uh, roughly of county road frontage so we really want to showcase that and also show the, the beautiful features of the property and the surrounding area. So that's what we're gonna focus on here. So we just took some uh, sample photos to adjust the camera's aperture and to get the right settings and to make sure that we're properly exposed and focused. Uh, now we're going to showcase this property. There's a trail going down this way. I brought my bike, uh, it's an e-bike. Um, so I'm going to run down this trail, grab a few photos, and then come back out. Like I said, we're showcasing the road frontage here. So I want this main county road, and then there's also another county road that uh, borders or runs through the uh, on the western side of the property, on the other side of the creek. Uh, another tip, creeks. Uh, water sells. People, people like water. They want access to water. Uh, so we'll get quite a few pictures of that creek as well. We'll go walk. Off we go. Uh, what you don't want to do is take these pictures uh, into the sun. That's going to wash out your photos. It's going to lose a lot of the quality. Uh, but I am going to stop right here because I see some cool stuff. Deer tracks. We always want to take pictures of those. Because although somebody may not buy this property purely to hunt, that might be a very welcome added bonus. So you might've been thinking, why the e-bike? Well, I just got from one end of the property all the way to the other. It took me about two minutes. Now I'm set up to take some uh, nice sunset photos of this place. And another added benefit that I like, uh, it doesn't have the loading and unloading times as a side-by-side. -side. I obviously have one for showing properties, but when I'm taking pictures, I'd much rather have the bike. Don't have to pull a trailer around um, we got to have the, in my opinion, I got to have that camper shell for to keep all my stuff safe and secure and uh, dry. So can't put a four wheeler in the back of the truck. Got to haul around a trailer down these winding back roads in the country. So throw the e-bike in the back, unload it. Two or three minutes, I'm snapping photos. 
Uh, another added benefit is I actually came up on a couple deer back there. They didn't even know I was in the world. I uh, wasn't able to stop and grab a photo of them because I'm running out of time here. Uh, but at least you get to see some wildlife and, and kind of sneak up on them a little bit. Uh, that bike's so quiet, they don't even know it's coming. So we're going to go over to the other end of the property, uh, take some pictures of the creek, and then get that coveted road frontage right at sunset. Who doesn't like views, right? And that's a wrap. When you piece it all together, it should look something like this.